Hi everyone, welcome back to our RAS Aquaculture channel. In today's episode, we're diving under the microscope to uncover what's really happening inside shrimp affected by HP disease. Using the wet mouth procedure, we'll take a close look at the hepatopancreas, the organ where this sneaky parasite, Enterocytosine hepatopenii HP, likes to hide. EHP disease refers to intracytosine hepatopenia EHP infection, a microsporidian parasite that affects shrimp, especially in aquaculture systems like BioFlock and RAS recirculating aquaculture systems. It is one of the leading causes of slow growth and production loss in shrimp farms. Let's move on to the wet mouth procedure. First, we carefully extract the hepatopancreas from the shrimp. This organ is often called the shrimp liver or digestive gland because it serves similar functi. Ons to the liver and pancreas invertebrates, it plays a vital role in digestion, nutrient absorption, and energy storage. In seafood markets or cooking, you might hear it called shrimp tomley, especially when it appears as a soft, yellow-orange paste in cooked shrimp or sometimes even shrimp fat when it's used to add flavor in dishes. But for us in aquaculture, it's a critical organ to monitor, especially when dealing with diseases like EHP. Symptoms of EHP infection One of the challenges with EHP infection is that it presents no obvious external signs, making early detection difficult. Infected shrimp typically show slow or uneven growth, even when survival rates remain high, farmers may also notice a high feed conversion ratio FCR, meaning more feed is required to achieve the same weight gain. This results in reduced overall production output. Why is HP a problem? Although HP infection rarely kills shrimp, it significantly disrupts digestion and nutrient absorption. This leads to poor weight gain, economic losses, and increased operational costs, making it a major concern in shrimp aquaculture, especially in high-density systems like BioFlock and RAS. While the wet mouth procedure lets us observe the shrimp's hepatopancreas in real time, it's important to understand its limitations. We can't be completely sure that what we're seeing are HP spores. The wet mouth may show suspicious signs, but it does not provide a definitive diagnosis. To confirm the presence of EHP, we need to use histological analysis, which allows us to clearly see the spores within the tissue for even more accuracy. PCR testing is often used to detect EHP at the DNA level. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. That's all for today's video. We hope it helps you better care for your crabs and shrimps. Bye!